on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to improve your face cam quality in Vegas Pro 14. So this is some raw footage I have and this is how my camera usually records. The camera itself is probably three years old since I last bought it but I still use it because I still think it's in good quality. So to make it look better we do need to head over to video effects if you don't see it then come over to view, windows layout and select default layout. From video effects, the first thing I add on is brightness and contrast, which is right here. And I have a little setup already, but you would add on the default. And then my setup is down here. As you can see, this is what it looks like. So if I take this off, that's before, that's after. It makes it a bit more brighter. The next thing I add is color curves. And from color curves, again, I have my own setup. You would add on the default. And then using my settings, this is what it looks like. So you'd be on the RGB channel and then simply copy what I have. So make a sort of an S shape like so. So without color curves, with color curves. The next thing I add is soft contrast. Now soft contrast is here. So for this one, again, I also have a preset, but you would add on soft moderate contrast. Now you can see that makes it look very weird. But if I come here and use my settings, that's what it looks like. It's more of a yellow tone and it's warmer colors. So there's quite a lot more setting up to this one compared to the others. So these are all the settings I use right here. And then coming over to the vignette, in case it is on, then these are the settings as well. Now in some cases, I also come down to video effects and I select the white balance and drag and drop this on. So this is white balance and when I use white balance, it's usually when the camera is either low light or has too much light. So what the brightness, I usually come up by one, as you can see, that is the difference. So if I take it off, that's before and that's after. So I add them four things and that is all I use. And then my face cam is officially complete. So then if I just split this down the middle, as you'll see, so I split this down the middle. What you're seeing on the left side of the screen is before, what you're seeing on the right side of the screen is after. So you can see that is so much more better. Again, looking at it one more time, I'm gonna take everything off one by one. So this is without brightness and contrast. This is without color curves. This is without soft contrast. And this is without the white balance. You can see it's a very flat uh, color and there's not much lighting. And also for my videos, in case you haven't noticed, I have no lighting setup. The only light I have is this light behind me from the window and the light above me, but I don't turn that on. Now, what you will need to be aware of, because you've added all of these different effects, this will bump up the rendering time a lot more. Now, this is a nine minute clip and this will probably take to render probably about an hour and 30 minutes. So just be patient. At least you do get better quality in the end. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.